Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Hannah Faye. Thank you for joining me for another Tech Tuesday. It's actually Wednesday. Um, I'm acknowledging that. I got my first COVID shot, the vaccine on Monday. Yesterday, I felt like I got hit by a truck. So I didn't do anything yesterday, um, but I feel a lot better today. That's why this is late. Today, I got something that I have needed for a very long time, a new computer case. This is a very good looking case, I think. My only concern is whether it's big enough or not. It fits a full size ATX, you know, in theory, doesn't always mean in practice, you know. So let's do an unboxing. Let's take a look at this thing. See what it looks like. I just got it and I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So it is black and it has a tempered glass panel. with a manual. Okay guys, here it is. Here it is. It's the Corsair IQ220T RGB airflow tower. Whew, that's a mouthful. It is advertised as a mid-tower ATX case where strong cooling meets smart lighting. I bought it off Amazon where it is currently priced at $104.99. A few things drew me to this case. The first thing being the very large tempered glass window. I have a decent amount of RGB in my current PC and I do like to show it off. And also I like to be able to see my components. So the tempered glass window is a must. The reason that I even got a new case is because my current case, the window is completely scratched up and it you, I just spit and it bothers me so much every time I look at it. So I'm very happy to have this new case. Another thing I like about this case is it's completely steel, which I feel is better for me because I'm not the most graceful of people. And so as much as I try to baby my electronics, sometimes they get hurt. So steel just is a little bit more durable than aluminum. So steel is the better option for myself. The airflow, which is obviously toted, is a huge feature of this case because no one can argue with good airflow when it comes to electronics. Another huge draw to this case is that it comes pre-installed with three RGB fans. These are Corsair 120 millimeter fans and they retail at approximately $20 each. So when you factor in that you have $60 in fans just in the front and the case only costs $104.99 altogether, that's a pretty darn good deal. There's a dust cover on top, a mesh dust cover, and it's magnetic. I really like that. I really like that it's magnetic because that's, my current cases, little dust things like this, little mesh pieces, they go in like little hooks and they don't stay very well. I like this magnetic design. A cool feature about this case is it comes with something called a lighting node core. And it's basically a fan hub and place where you can control your RGB all in one. So you can control these three fans, or if you choose to add more fans, you just plug them in. And this one supports, it looks like up to six. You can control them all with the IQ software, which is Corsair software. I actually use it on my keyboard because I have a Corsair keyboard. Corsair is a pretty good brand, I guess. It's kind of one of those brands that I trust just because I've had a couple things from them and everything has worked good. So I, I trust them. It has a couple, spots for you to mount some solid state drives and some hard drives, of course. These are cute little screws. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of fat. You do this peel. I don't know if it'll sound good. This is so satisfying. Ooh, that was fantastic. I like the fact that there's this little area for the power supply unit because I think it's gonna make cable management just a little bit easier. I can shove things in here, hopefully. I am a little bit worried about the amount of room that I have back here because I have some thick PSU cables, so um, hopefully we can make it work. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm looking at this. It looks roomy enough in front. I just really hope that it's not a complete mess up here with the cables. Uh, I want to really make it look nice, obviously. So now I'm going to go put my stuff in it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. I can't wait to see these fans in action. But well, this is what it looks like. Oh, you guys, it looks so awesome. Look at that. There's so many different settings. There's the inside of the case. I did, you know, I did okay with cable management as you can see that little uh, thing fell off. I thought I put it back on, but it moved out of place. So that's gonna bother me. So I gotta put that back, but overall, look at this case. Where do you move? Oh my gosh, every time I get ready for it, I tell you what. These are just a couple different like presets. So that one's called Rotary Stack. This one's called Ping. There's only one problem. The problem I knew that was gonna be an issue from the beginning. Look at this, the case. My wires are too big. I just wanna say thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, bye.